people think Steelers are the favourites, which I think they are because of the group of people they have. But we have a good group of players and we think we can take them. On with the action, your commentators for the Big 8 final are Simon Reid and Phil Craven. So Nigel Smith starts off with the ball for the Aces. Every player on court is an international, including Anne Wilde for the Aces, who plays, of course, for the Great Britain women's team. And here's the Steelers playmaker, Colin Price, and the matchup between him and Nigel Smith should be fascinating, Phil. Absolutely fascinating. The both players have to keep their sides together and have to put the ball in from inside and outside. And there we see a feed from Terry Clark to Dave Bramley, the first points of the match. So Dave Bramley off to a good start. And the matchup under the basket, just as crucial. Here's Jai Ratney. Clark all over him. And head tennis there from Mark Cheney to Callum Gordon. He's on the break. Colin Price with him. There's Price. Smith goes with him. But Price makes it 4 nothing to the Steelers. So they're off to just the start they wanted. Now they're putting the pressure on the aces. But there's Tony Wallard in space. Two good points. Tony Wallard who missed last year's Big 8 because of illness. And has been a big factor already in the aces making the final. Price. Bramley, but Wallard, good hands from him. What a check. Smith then. And... Uh, a frenetic start to the match as we thought it might be. But Smith stays composed there and levels it up. Nigel Smith just looking to pass inside, sees it's not on and fires the shot off himself. So here's his counterpart, Price, and a good ball in there. Bramley once more. He's made a good start to the match. Great start by Dave Bramley, normally overshadowed by Callum Gordon, but he's going to be in there in this match. Bramley who scored the deciding basket in last year's Big 8. Simon Munn all on his own. Where's Callum Gordon? He should be covering Simon Munn on that play. So the Aces back level. And here comes Price. Drifts past Anne Wild. Bramley out to the left and Price goes alone. It's got to be down to Colin Price for the steal as the others aren't firing. Dave Bramley's assisting, but Colin Price has got to do it on his own. Nigel Smith. Floats in and again. And Simon Munn. Good second effort from Simon Munn. Big men all around him, but still gets the basket. Towering over the tall men from the Steelers there. Second rebound. In she goes. Six minutes to go. It's 11-10 to the Aces. Oh, yes. Good pass in from Jairatni to Munn, who's having a tremendous first half. Simon Munn. What an improvement from Simon Munn in this last 12 months. Such a big presence inside. So here's Price. Woolard. And then Jairatni to him. Terry Clark. Good ball to Price. Cheney into Bramley, not that time. Lovely movement, but Dave Bramley just under pressure. But here we see Mark Cheney recovers. Price again settles it down, looks for the options. Calls for help, gets a screen, and in it goes. A big crowd here in Ponds Forge, most of them, of course, supporting the Steelers. And they'll be happy that Colin Price is keeping them alive. Yeah, but I'm concerned about the one or two man attack from the Steelers against the five man attack from the Aces. Can they sustain it? I would doubt it if, unless they get more men involved in the attack. And the Aces are getting it inside time after time. Once again, Simon Munn. Again, he gets a second rebound and again he makes it count. What a presence from Simon Munn. He's up to eight points now. Price. And Jairatni, a little upset, a foul against Anne Wilde that time. George Jairatni thought they had that attack covered there, no need for the foul, but anything happens in the heat of battle. Price again. Again he sends up the shot himself, and again he scores, and the lead down to one.
Jaya Ratney. Smith. Jaya Ratney again. In it goes to Woolard. Jaya Ratney. And a foul there on Colin Price. He's, He's not, not happy with that, but that was definitely just a little nudge foul from Colin Price, stopping George Jaya moving. Nudged him with the, just the bottom of his chair. Yeah, foot plate to foot plate, but it was definitely a holding foul. So they're on 17 fouls, the Steelers, one and one, but Jaya misses the first. Interception again from the Aces, though. Good awareness from Jai Ratney. And look at the battle here between the playmakers, Smith and Price. Again, it's in to Wallard. Foul called, and if that's Mark Cheney's foul, it's his fourth. One more, and he'll be off court for the rest of the game. So Wallard to the line. Timeout, and six. So Paul Hudson's going to call a timeout and make the substitution. Wallard, meanwhile... Gets the first free throw. 27 years old, already 35 international caps. Used to play able-bodied basketball and has made a very quick transition. And look at him hustle here. Yeah, we've got a held ball situation. I think this will be the timeout. Yes, that's the timeout that Paul Hudson wanted. And I should think Mark Cheney is likely to be subbed. He's off. It's, it's sub. It's, it's sub. Listen, listen. Didn't it? Come on. Straight right. Colin Price urging his team to get their act together. And they can't be happy. Mark Cheney then. Four fouls already. Three minutes to go in the first half. And he's a key member as we saw last year. David Bibby is the substitute for Mark Cheney. Number 12, you'll see him in a moment. They're on the far side. Now, here's Callum Gordon. And the tall hands there of Simon Munn. There we see Simon Munn. He's important, very important on offence, but he can take those defensive rebounds. Miss from Nigel Smith. Goulard again. Fights and draws the foul once more. Dave Bibby just replaced Mark Cheney and he commits his first foul. Dave Bibby, 35 years old, helps with the fundraising for the Steelers, but didn't help them there as he sends Tony Willard to the line. Massively powerful. Disregards the crowd's attention to his shot and puts the ball away. Yes, they're a fairly biased lot here at Ponds Forge. No doubt about it, they've got drums going a lot, but the, the Aces are well in command here. Foul there against Simon Munn, that's his third, so he's got to be careful, especially as he's having such a good game. Five fouls, remember, as in the running game, and you're off. So here's Price. Nice ball movement from the Steelers. They're Bibby. not getting the opening. Colin Price into Gordon, but again hustled out of it by Tony Willard. Brownlee takes a tumble, and look at the effort here. They've got to get the ball over the halfway line within 10 seconds, and they've done it now. Good play from Jai Ratney. And a terrific collection from Mann, and again he makes it count. Just leaning away, flicks the ball up with those powerful fingers. So the lead up to five. Leaning in from Tony Willard, that's his first foul. And the ace is in foul trouble now. They're on 17 fouls, so one and one for the Steelers. And Callum Gordon gets his first point of the match. It's a beautiful action. Let's see if he can repeat it. Now, just short this time. He's got the rebound. But didn't have the confidence there to go in with the shot. He should have put that ball away straight in off, of, off the backboard. And more confusion from the Steelers. And here comes Jai Ratney. But look at Price. So intense. And he gets the foul against Jai Ratney. Colin Price will go to the line now for one-on-one. -on -one. A man on a mission here, Price. He just needs a bit more support. Steelers unbeaten in the regular season. Twice winners over the Aces. 
already in the league. It's just not going right for them. So, into the last minute. They're applying the pressure now, the Steelers, but the Aces have got through. Again, tremendous take from Mullard there, one-handed. Smith calling for one more offence here. Woolard. Bramley goes out to meet him, but a good basket again from Woolard. The lead up to six. What a presence Tony Woolard's made to this match. If only he'd been there last year, it might have been a different story. Looking for the last shot. Terry Clark is the man who puts it in. Nigel Smith picks it up. But there, the half-time buzzer. And a very impressive half-two from the Aces, particularly by Simon Mann. In my book, very much the man of the first half. Well, I've just been looking at the stats, and Simon's actually kind of... Uh up on Callum out of the floor offensively and told Callum to actually take Simon out all the way full court press so Simon will be looking to do that and hopefully the rest of the game will come from there a month ago we had them down by 15 points by half time and they came back and won by three points we had them and we lost them I'm not going to do it this time welcome back to Ponds Forge in Sheffield 12 minutes to go in the second half of the Big 8 final Milton Keynes aces 23 last year's winner Sheffield Steelers struggling on 18. There we see another big rebound from Simon Munn, straight back in the action with two points. So the lead immediately up to seven. Pressure defence from the Aces, not letting the Steelers settle on the ball. Into Gordon. And again it doesn't go in for him, he's had a pretty average first half, Callum Gordon, and that's the way it looks as if it's continuing. Jai Ratney. Munn's in again has such good balance and such strength in those arms and he draws the foul there against Callum Gordon. Jai Ratney. Into Smith. Two more. Beautiful play there by George Jai Ratney. Seen Nigel Smith in space after Tony Woolard had made that space. And a real crisis for the Steelers now. They're down by nine. Price. Into Gordon. That time he gets it. And makes it count with only a second field goal of the match. Got to see more from Callum Gordon here in this second half. Otherwise, they can kiss it goodbye. Smith. Rebound from Woolard, and he draws the foul. Brilliant rebound from Tony Woolard. He's so pleased about that. Look at his face. Yes, the ace is on a high. Here it is, comes down. Look, one-handed. Picks it up, gets the basket, and draws another foul on Gordon. Seven minutes to go. Nine points the lead. And another foul against Woolard. And I'm afraid that's his fifth, and he'll be off. So disappointed, Tony Woolard, then just reaching in too far with that great driver with the ball, Colin Price, going round him. Now, this could be major problems for the Aces. Who are they going to put on for Tony Woolard? Shafiq just adding up his points there, he's bringing John Liddy on, three points for Tony Woolard, 2.5. That means he's going to have to take George Jairatni off for three-point play and replace him with Charles Blomfield, number 10. Yes, Blomfield, number 10, John Liddy, number 15. Well, Jairatni takes a rest, Colin Price has got to be careful. He's on four fouls. And another foul call, this time I think against Liddy. That's right, Liddy committing his first foul, just a little bit cold after just coming on. Timeout called. If you want to come across, Anne, what do you do? Yeah, come out. Right, right, keep your breast up and down, everywhere. I want to see you everywhere, right? Six minutes, 33, <coughs> 29 up. It's about four minutes now, no one has scored. I want a bucket. And there's a man who might well give it to him, Simon Munn. Six minutes and 30 seconds left. The lead's still nine for the Aces. The Steelers have got to see this as their big chance. They've got rid of Tony Woolard. They've got to exploit this situation. Dave Brownlee to the line. Picks up the rebound. Colin Price floating around with the ball, looking for the opening. Straight across the key. 
What a shot from Cheney. Cheney's second basket of the match. And the lead down to seven. Again, tremendous awareness from Price. Knows where Cheney likes to be. And he makes the lead. Just seven points. Around six minutes to go. Smith to Ann Wild. Big rebound there from Callum Gordon. What a ball. To Colin Price. Yes. His tenth point of the match. But more importantly, the lead down to five. That ball sliced open the Aces defence. Brilliant pass. So the Steelers on a charge. And can the Aces cope with this? Here we see the Steelers now putting the pressure defence on the Aces. Nigel Smith gets out of it, but he's still under pressure. So it goes to Simon Munn. And again, tremendous change of balance in the chair. Two more points for Simon Munn. He's on 14. He's keeping them in this match here, keeping that lead to five, seven points. Good pass. And a foul there on Anne Wild. It's an intentional foul called by Gus Taylor. She knew she had to stop Callum Gordon there. So he'll go to the line for two shots, and then it'll still be the ball to the Steelers. Tremendous pass from Colin Price to send Gordon now to the line. Anne Wild on four fouls, along with Munn for the Aces. And with Price, Gordon and Cheney on four fouls as well. So they've all got to watch out. One more and they're off. Gordon, who's had a frustrating time of it so far, sinks the first free throw. And the lead, six. Oh, what skill there from Colin Price. The wraparound. Feeds to Cheney. And Martin Hatton picking up the garbage there. To Smith. Jairatney. And Wild thwarted by Big Dave Bramley. Steelers have really got the bit between the teeth. They've got to convert it to points on the, on the board. Gordon just off. Price. Cheney. No, it just won't go in for them. Smith. And the danger ease now. Hatton out of his chair. It's good over, defending. Good defending, very good defending. Just over balance there, Martin McElhatton. No foul call. Paul Hudson looks up. Less than two minutes to go, and the title looks to be slipping away. They're not giving it up lightly. Though. Look at this pressure defence here. Jair Atney, look at the speed. To Mung, two more for Mung. He's up to 16, the lead eight. That man's unstoppable. Wish he was playing for my club. Here's Price. Oh, yes. That's the composure they need. Still keeping them honest. Less than two minutes to go, though. McElhatton. Good recovery. Smith. Biding his time. Trying to slow it down as much as they can. Yeah, and Callum Gordon knows they've got to get the ball, so he just reached in too far there, committed the foul, but it gives a chance for a further interception. Gordon now on four fouls, and Smith just easing the pressure now, slowing the game down, easier said than done. Just running the clock down, nearly a minute to go. A minute from their first victory over the Steelers this year in the Big Eight final. Must be frustrating for the Steelers, winding that clock down, takes the shot, misses. And the Steelers have to score on every offence from now on in. Gordon, oh yes, Smith with the interception. Bramley and Price to him. And Bramley and Jairatney, and the sheer power of Bramley's arm brought Jairatney down there. Yeah, I thought Dave Bramley pulled Joe out of the chair there, but I think the referee called it on Joe. Jairatney, 28 years old. Transferred this year from Capital City Jazz, and but he's absolutely thrilled he has. On the verge of a major victory here, Clark. Three-point attempt, but it failed. 
Gordon desperately trying to keep the ball inbounds. Smith. Gordon. Yes. Good hands from Gordon. Price with a big chance. Oh, no. And that may be their last chance gone. Six points to lead. Into the last 30 seconds. And Wild. And Wild clinches the title and her first points of the tournament. Look at the bench. Never mind, I'm Wild. They're going wild. And the title firmly theirs now. Nothing the Steelers can do about it. Much as they try, Colin Price goes for a three-pointer, draws a foul. It means he'll go to the line for three free throws. But it's academic, as you can see, under three seconds left. And even this great player can't turn it around from here. Scored the first, probably try and get the second and then go for a rebound off the ring on the third. Because he knows he's got to get more points out of this than just three. But even for Price to get six more points in two and a half seconds. It's going some, going some. Beyond his powers. It is beyond his powers, but he's been trying so hard with not a lot of support in this match. It's been five against one and two at times. So there's the final buzzer. And a big, big surprise. A rare defeat for the Sheffield Steelers. And this year we have new champions. New champions, and what were the champions? What a team. Speed, height, maneuverability, passing skills. That says it all. So there's a new name to be inscribed onto a Big 8 trophy. Led by their captain, Nigel Smith, the new Big 8 champions are the Milton Keynes Aces.